Today is our last day of sailing to the Canaries. We have officially 98.4 nautical miles to go. The sun is shining. I got a little bit of connection to land, so I was able to receive a couple emails and I sent a couple out, but I don't think they went through yet. Just letting family know we're good and letting Jason know that we will be there in the next 24 hours. It's a couple hours into my shift and I have jibed through the gauntlet of boats that have suddenly appeared. So that was a little, a little change of pace. We also have a guest appearance. Someone should be sleeping but isn't. <laughs> you excited? Christmas day, we're getting close. Yeah. It's been a really good day of sailing and even though the swells have been large, going downwind is like a piece of cake, man. So yeah, very nice. Yeah, and I knew we were getting close, and I woke up. I just can't <laughs> have to sleep. Our ETA is for about 8 a.m.-ish, so that's very exciting. Also, when I was coming in, I just threw an atomic elbow onto the slider. And I heard it really bad, and I got it on film. <laughs> Enough of this pant wearing weather. <sighs> Bunny bone. <laughs> so. <sighs> Almost to the Canaries. Yeah. I feel that weather already. Quaker Oatmeal Man. Who is your bang alternative? We're pulling into Las Palmas and there are these ships that I have never seen before. They have four cranes and a giant tower in the middle and I have no idea what they do. So do any of you know what these ships are or what their job is? They look very official and very cool and odd. I've never seen anything like this before. Hey, we're here. We're out of the Mediterranean. And guess what? We're still having problems lowering our anchor. The connecty bit, um, just completely rusted and disconnected a wire so Brian had to rewire the remote for the windlass so that we could anchor. Um, unfortunately the design of where the remote is it is directly under where all the water funnels from the boat down into the anchor hatch down to the ocean so it's just constantly in a bath of water so when we have connections like that that are exposed to the air, they're also exposed to seawater and it's just a matter of time. So we really need a new low Franz remote. And I'm very happy that we made it during the sunshine. We did not have to anchor at night. It just feels so good. I can actually see everything. <laughs> Jason is on land. He extended his Airbnb time by a couple days because we came in a couple days late. Sailboat fashion. So we're just gonna get settled in right now and make sure we're really good on the hook because you can see there are sharp, jagged rocks right behind me. So we're gonna make sure that is good and then decide what we're gonna do from there. Okay, I got 
that's a big news. That bother you with some big news? Yeah, what's up? We've now hit 4,137 nautical miles. And sailing March 15th yeah. to December 10th. Wow. That's a lot. <laughs> nice. Also got a new anchor. It's a better scoopy scoopy boy. So once Jason is on the boat, he'll be helping us get that on today or tomorrow or sometime soon. Which is kind of funny because last time he was on the boat, our windlass wasn't working and we had to lift the anchor chain and anchor by hand for a little while. And now, <laughs> he's gonna help us lift a whole new anchor onto the boat. So I guess that's just, the only bad luck Jason has on the boat is just the, the anchor situations. Well, today is the day that Jason is leaving land life. He's been staying in an apartment for the past couple days, helping us out with laundry and all that stuff. So he is coming on board today. And we are trying to dry everything. Of uh, gin and soda or gin and juice if you're a Snoop Dogg fan. Oh, shit. <laughs> I wish I, I caught Jason's turmoils. Uh, I'm trying to get here. I'm talking to the camera right now. Uh, oh, that wasn't that bad. This whole beat up. <laughs> <laughs> but the phone thing, so it just died. It just died. Literally, I had a map on, it froze up, and then it went blanked out, and then I threw it against the wall. And I was like, it's probably oh. not coming back on. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Throwing it against the wall does not let it turn I mean, I did try to turn it on a couple times first. <laughs> I guess that was just the theme of the week, was just struggling. We were struggling. Struggling! Too. Struggling. <laughs> but then once you sail downwind, just everything goes away, and it's all good. Freaking clothes for New York, 30 degrees, clothes for Lisbon, 60 degrees, clothes for tropics. <laughs> no clothes. No clothes for tropics, yeah. just a banana hammock. Let the fucking wangle dangle out. Red wine is early. I like your hair. Thanks. It looks good. I know. Like what your mom says. <laughs> what did my mom say? Oh, when she was on the phone with you. Oh, no, we were just, yeah. Did you cut bangs? Yeah, I was going through an existential, ex whatever, crisis. That's, a, that's girl code for, oh, honey, did you have a breakdown? Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, you got clean. all that closed up? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's Damn a lot it. of sewing, man. It is. It was. That's a lot of sewing. <laughs> it was a whole month on at the marina, just. That's a lot of sewing. A lot of zippers. Yeah. Wow. She may not be pretty, but she is oh, strong. <laughs> This will be our last land food meal, most likely, land food. before the crossing, where is Jason has put kiss the land goodbye. What'd you say? So, we're... we're no, no, what, what did you just say? It's so big. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Atlantic storm. This is Spain. This is Africa. Sorry, let me get rid of that. This is the coast of Africa. We're where the white dot is. This is the Canaries. This is Florida down here. 
this is Maine and Canada and all of that. So from the from Cape Verde, <laughs> which is here, to Greenland will be the entire storm. <laughs> The circulation is so big, it's drawing off the coast of Africa. And this is what's preventing us from leaving. Oh, crap. Yeah. What are the wind, what are the waves? So you get stuck in a marina for a month with a broken engine, two broken engines. And now we're closer, we made it out of the med. Now we're kind of pinned down by the potential giant butthole creeping across the entire Atlantic. <laughs> <laughs> but Jason's with us, so hopefully he, he'll stay long enough to do the crossing once he, he has to go back to work. Uh, yeah, I mean, this <sighs> might be Christmas in the Canaries. Yeah. Shit, I better run out and get you a present. <gasps> I already got you one. Like chocolate cake. Oh, really? Well, it's Christmas. Will I get mushy? You want to get my stockings on? Well, if we're here, I'll wrap it in paper. <laughs> With the uncertainty of the weather on the horizon, we got to work with getting Naughty in tip-top shape for the crossing. Getting our shiny new Rachna anchor secured was at the top of our list. It was no problem getting Naughty's new hook secure with Jason's help. As always, he's eager and very capable to help with most boat tasks. Putting the anchor on Naughty would have been less of a hassle if we were still in the marina. But unfortunately, at the time we were unable to acquire the particular anchor we really wanted at the time. Sometimes things just don't line up the way you want. But in the end, we got our shiny new anchor before setting out across the Atlantic. It will be so nice not having to worry about Naughty setting sail without us. That way we can sip tropical cocktails while on white sandy beaches across the pond without a worry. It took so much prep work, planning, and sailing just to get to where we are now. We just have a little more to go for this next adventure. Mending sails, provisioning, and last minute repairs make these moments fly by. We did this shit before. Is this uh, one of the one of the perks of having a catamaran that you have twice as many uh, <laughs> engine parts? Catamarans are so luxurious. <laughs> it's so nice. There's so many rooms. <laughs> too many engines. Too many extras. Everything is too. It's like having twins. <gasps> the family curse didn't leave me. Oh gosh. Damn. Only well, they're diesel engines, not humans. I'm okay with that. It's still cheaper. <sighs> Jason, you need some uh, alien lube for rubber parts at all? Or are you good? <laughs> the lube. Oh, all the alien spit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, such a good one. Let's make sure I loaded that in correctly. Always refer to Manuel. Always refer to Manuel. 
Jason has been cleaning the exterior of the boat. She's so pretty now. Naughty's all clean and pretty. Hey, where are you guys going? Burgers! <laughs> Our last meal on land for the year. Ooh, I like that. Look at that. I can't explain how grateful I am for having such amazing people in my life. To have my love sell everything and leave the life we once knew behind. To live on a boat with a future filled with uncertainty. And to have a friend not only support my crazy adventure of crossing the Atlantic, but to also come on board as crew for the whole fiasco. I wouldn't trade the people I love in my life for anything. Money comes and goes, stuff breaks, status is an illusion, but love and laughter is forever. So we thought we were going to be leaving. We had our, our, our burgers and our ice cream and we were so ready to go, but uh, then, then a lot of red, red stuff decided to show up on Predict Wind and gray stuff, which means fast wind, no good, big swells not comfortable so we're just gonna have to hang out and wait it out 